How many of you, when you used to hear the gospel years ago, tears would come to your eyes? Or it made you uncomfortable? Or it pricked your conscience? Now you can listen to the gospel preached and it doesn't even bother you. You can just turn it off. When that happens, you're in a dangerous position because God said concerning Ephraim, Ephraim is joined to his idols, let him alone. Wouldn't it be awful if God would say, leave him alone? Don't convict him. Don't speak to him anymore. Let him go. He's only got another 10 years to live or 20 years to live. Let him go. Three times in the first chapter of Romans, God says, I give them up. There is a sleep, the Bible says, unto death. A spiritual sleep that is produced by prolonged practicing of sin that deadens the conscience.